I've been following over the last decade or so what I call like a 414 model in which I work for four years and take a year off and then work for four years and take a year off. And it's almost like that. It's not like a year off to write or something like that. It's almost four years of very goal-driven activity and then one year of submerging myself into conscious goallessness, like basically diving into nothing almost. And 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 I've done I've done this over three cycles now. So uh, over the last decade, I've done it three times. And uh, my first two sabbaticals were very in the world. Like I was traveling and living in like South America and Bhutan and Mongolia. So they were very in the world. This sabbatical was kind of like timed very well with where my life was going. And this sabbatical was truly like a internal quest, if you will. So out of the one year, my wife and I spent five, six months in an ashram up in the Himalayas. And we were in like pretty intense silent meditation for 30 to 40 days out of that period and then the rest of the time we were learning to become yoga teachers and in a very kind of a very tight disciplined way deepening our practice of yoga and meditation in a very very remote place up in the mountains where we had like almost no connection with the world for for a good five six months and then the other five six months was really like part of the journey was uh, traveling from europe to india by road without plans at all so really arriving in scotland which was the cheapest flight from new york and having no clue at all of what the next day would be and just kind of drifting along, arriving to India. And then on the return back, I stopped in Portugal and um, and just wrote in a burst. So it's almost like for the first nine months of the sabbatical, I didn't write a single word. And then I wrote the whole novel in a three-month burst in Portugal. Wow. Yeah. 